back again. Um, hope everybody is well. Uh, this response is for Jonathan. Uh, I ain't going to kill your last name, bro. Uh, so uh, I, I'm going to leave that part off. But uh, this is for Jonathan. And so Jonathan asked, do I always have to register with every broker? I thought I could just call the number and book the load. They always say I have to sign up and wait. Uh, so Jonathan, in most situations, well, in every situation for the most part, um, I pulled up here, uh, just Charlotte, North Carolina, showing the Southeast region, just pulled it up to show you the brokerage. <coughs> so with all of these listed brokers, auto, um, automobile transportation services, Ridgeline Automotive, Facertis, with these different brokers, you're going to have to call, as you can see, all of them have different telephone numbers, right? So, of course, you'll have to call every single broker, uh, uh, if they're a different broker, to uh, get a vehicle from them or to inquire about the vehicle to see if it's available or not. But in particular, um, you know, some companies that you call, like for instance, this one that I've transported for, this one before it's Town Auto Sales, it's in New Bern, North Carolina. Uh, the guy has a pawn shop, his name is Mike. Uh, he has a pawn shop there. So if you call this one and he's one of the smaller brokers, um, you know, not broker, you know, he's a direct, um, what do you call it, car, car dealsman, car salesman, so on and so on. Um, with him, if you call him and you're in the area, as long as you got valid insurance, he might not even ask for your insurance. He might check central to see, um, if you have your insurance listed and all that kind of stuff to make sure you're a valid carrier and so on and so on. But for him, you're not going to have to wait more than likely you're in that area. He's going to go ahead and dispatch that car to you. You bring it to him. And if anything happens to the car, he knows that he can claim it on your insurance and so on and so on. So with... Uh, your smaller companies, you're not going to have to worry about waiting a day or waiting a month for their uh, compliance team to go through your information and all that type of stuff. Now, when you're trying to get with one of these bigger companies right here, like Cars Arrive, uh, if you have a service right here, uh, those are bigger companies. Uh, Backlot Cars, um, not huge, but it's one of your bigger companies. Well, actually, it is a huge company. Uh, RPM, um, Auto Sled, uh, that's a good one as well. Um, anytime you're going with one of these bigger companies, I just called out Auto Sled right here, Run Buggy, um, Cars Arrived. Um, Let's see, uh, ship your car now. That's one of them as well. Anytime you're going with those bigger assertives, Montwave, that's a big one as well. You'll find them on ship.cars. Anytime you're going with your bigger brokers, um, you're going to have to fill out um, like a, you know, a carrier application type thing. Uh, you're going to have to send them your insurance, um, you know, uh, your COI. Uh, some of them, like United Road, they'll make you list them as um, additionally insured. Um, I know with Progressive, to add an additionally insured, it costs, I think, a $20 fee uh, that they bill you on. But with your bigger ones, you're going to have to sign up for them, and you're going to have to wait until their compliance department actually goes through your paperwork uh, to make sure that you're a legit carrier and so on and so on. So if you see one of their loads, you're not going to just be able to grab that load right away. You're going to have to wait a couple of days. Uh, Ready Logistics, that's one of your big ones. Uh, Ready Logistics, if you haven't even had a year on, they won't even touch you until you've had 365 days sitting on your uh, your uh, DOT or your MC. Uh, same thing with Montway Assertus. They're not a whole year, but they're not going to touch you as soon as you start. Um, you know, they want you to get a little experience in your belt before they pick you up. Um, so if you're dealing with a company like that, RPM as well, if you're dealing with one of those companies, you're going to have to wait a little while, um, or a couple of days before you can actually get that load. It's not going to be right then and there. Now, the great thing about those bigger carriers, Auto Slab, uh, RPM, Cars Arrive, um, Run Buggy, Assertus, Montway, United Road. Um, you know, the great thing about them is, you know, once you get on with them, they have their own load boards. 
Um, I said this in a video before, I used to look up here on this load board and wonder how all these vehicles were getting taken overnight. And what it was is, you know, that was when I was green when I first started out. Pretty much, you know, they're on their load boards, they're taking those loads so the next day when those folks come in, uh, the customer service uh, reps, they start taking those loads off that have already been taken. So that's the great thing about once you get with them, you won't have to even call them. You can simply book their loads online uh, on their actual load board unless you want more money out of them. So for the most part, to answer your question, uh, if you're dealing with the small brokers, you're dealing with the small car dealers and uh, stuff like that, you, you'll be able to go ahead and get those vehicles right away. If you're dealing with the bigger companies, no, you're going to have to wait a while until their compliance teams go through your paperwork um, to be able to actually uh, get loads from them and get on with them. Um, again, the great thing, the bigger the company, they got their own load boards. After you get on with them, it's a headache getting on with them, but after you get on with them, you ain't got to worry about it. You can just book their stuff directly. Uh, and still, while you'll still be having to call the smaller companies to get each and every one of their loads and so on and so on. So, hopefully, uh, Jonathan, that answers your question. Uh, short video, uh, but hopefully it answers your questions and, um, you know, it got to the point for you. Um, have any more questions for you, man, just hit me up and, uh, you know, more power to you out there operating, moving around and so on and so on. So this is going to be the end of that one. Uh, catch y'all on the next one.